Yeah, it's really a very interesting topic. Since we learned that the nation of Israel was established on the principles of connection, they were commanded to be as one people in the land of Israel, to treat each other as one man and one heart. And along with it, there were 12 tribes with tribal identities within the people of Israel, and they were very meticulous about the separation. Marriage between the tribes was forbidden. Every tribe had their own land besides the Levi tribe. I read that each tribe had special characteristics, that there were warlike tribes like Binyamin, Gad, and Dan, kingship tribes like Yehuda and Ephraim, an Aridite tribe like Issachar, herdsmen like Reuven, farmers like Asher, merchants and seamen like Zvulun, and a priesthood tribe like Levi, meaning the nation is divided into many parts and skills, and it's really interesting to understand where does this division come from, especially that the people of Israel were established on connection. Exactly because of that, by connecting, we're not erasing any uniqueness of any person, tribe, of the people. But on the contrary, the more we advance, <coughs> the uniqueness grows. The greater it becomes, it shows us more and more of its different aspects. And we're called one people when atop all these differences we can connect and include all of these differences together in one connection. And the connection, it has to be so special, so unique, that none of the differences are erased or disappear. That's, first of all, when we're going for the connection, first of all, we check whether the connection is right, correct, only according to love covers for all crimes, meaning that the differences remain and love covers them. And this is what gives all the beauty and the intensity of the love, because the differences remain. Like with any kind of food, suppose, we have to add salt and pepper. By that, we actually point out the different tastes and flavors, like with a spouse. That sometimes you have to have some disputes, arguments, in order to feel their connection. And today, because we simply want to erase all the differences, we see that it's not working. In the European Union, in other things, in relationships, we don't know how to integrate people, that along with the connection, we keep the differences. And then we reach a connection called the middle line. We're not erasing the right or the left lines, but we reach the middle line, which means that we're built, according to the still vegetative animate and speaking, the four <coughs> layers of our ego. And if we also follow the left line, which is our ego, which separates us, and also the right line, that wants to connect us without differences, to erase everything. So if we follow these two lines, if we take these two lines, where the one is love and the other is hatred, unless we connect them together between them in the right kind of connection, we can succeed. So the right connection is where both the right and the left are connected between them. And then what you get is still vegetative, animate, and speaking four discernments in the right line, four discernments in the left line, and four discernments on the middle line. All in all, 12, the so-called 12 tribes. And in between them, each one according to where they are, you read about their characteristics, what is each one of them intended for, and therefore we had to keep it. And we even had to marry only within the tribes and so on. And afterwards, when 
the people of Israel already sinned, they came down from the degree of the middle line, then it was allowed to get married and so on, that's called the deterioration of the generations. Meaning it's not something random, it's, it comes from nature. Of course, this is the essence of nature. Because the people of Israel are built on compatibility with the upper force. So by keeping all of their differences and by keeping the right kind of connection between them, they reach a state called Shekhinah, meaning the desire of the nation being in a state where they're capable of discovering the upper force within them, the Creator. And therefore, these 12 discernments are very important, and we'd like to keep them very meticulously. Can you explain again what did you mean by the layers of the ego that characterize each such group? Each such group and each person, regardless of what tribe they belong to, are also included of these four discernments of the ego, four layers of the ego, which are called still vegetative, animate, and speaking. These are layers inside of us, the extent to which I am an egoist. On the lowest level, it's the still. On a higher level, vegetative on an even higher level it's the animate and on the highest level of the ego it's the speaking level this is exactly the yud k vav k the name of god